hole in the floor? There's a hole in the floor. Yeah, it's just where the battery is. That yeah, reminds that me of my dad's old Maxi. That had a hole in the floor. This one looks like it had one from you. Yeah, yeah, I think my dad's Maxi did. You won't have a lot of the way it breaks. Is that the ha Yeah, that's the handbrake, isn't it? Yeah, that's the handbrake. Yeah, pull there if you need to. But the brakes will work a little bit. But... Is there anything else that she absolutely needs to know before we set off? Because uh, she'll ask me when we get going and I don't really. know. You can't twist the choke to hold it on. No, it won't hand. work now. So no. you, you're going to have to be um, choke operator. Second in command, yeah. Yeah, can you be choke operator for me? Thank you. Can you die if you push it in? Yeah. So, um... What are, you, what are you just holding? Release, yeah, just, yeah, just release and all the way forward, yeah. Push so, yeah. forward, yeah, so that's yeah. not on anyway, yeah, yeah. so that's fine. Try letting a little, a little bit of choke off, so I got a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Why did you have your hand there for? By the time the Austin 12 arrived, the car company had been in receivership for six months. And by the time war broke out in 1939, 88,000 12s had rolled off the production line. Like the 7, the 12 helped to restore Austin's fortunes. Unlike the 7, however, passenger space was ample, which combined with Austin's famous robust engineering made the 12 the perfect taxi. This particular car, owned from new by the same family, was recently rescued from a barn where it had stood for 48 years. With barely any fettling, the 12's straightforward engine battled back into life and now, instead of helping to write the history of British motoring, its beautiful patina helps to tell the story. <laughs> you got this, haven't you? Chirp, chirp. I'm trying. Oh, there we go. Is there anything coming? <laughs> um, no. Oh, do I go up this way? Welcome to a potted history of the Austin Automobile Company. Oh, oh, that there was second. That oh, was second. Do we go this way around? Which way around did I go? Uh, arrow. Arrow. Imagine, this is a taxi. Imagine coming back from a night out in this. I didn't stall it. Yes. So the reason we came to the Great British Car Journey today is yes. because it's the centenary of the Austin 7. 2002 centenary of the Austin centenary, 7. Centenary, sorry. Centenary, 100 centenary. years. And there have been loads and loads of events. And um, I was actually just writing about this the other day uh, for my column and doing a bit of research. And Austin 7s in 2022, their value increased by 36%. Can you believe that? In the 100th year. The they've 100th worked hard year. for that, haven't they? They have worked really hard they've, for they've that. They've worked hard, they've put yeah, a shift in. Yeah, yeah. So of course, everybody wanted to be part of the centenary. Yes. So they've just pushed, because pre-war cars went absolutely. But you could fit one in your living room. Ironically, we're not in an Austin yeah, 7, could. we're in an Austin 12. We're in Austin 12. 12, yeah. But we will be getting an Austin 7. Trying to get the hang of this before we get the hang of that. Yeah, um, yeah, getting, getting used to it on a, in a bigger version. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so they've obviously become really, really popular uh, because of the centenary. Everybody wanted to be involved, which is brilliant. And what about these Austin 12s? Are they cars popular? Got a, you know, they declined massively. Right, how do value. I do this? How right, do I do this? so, uh, oh, am I teaching you how to drive? You are, you are. Right, okay, so you, um, it's on anyway, so you just press this button. Oh, it's just to press the button. And you probably aren't going to need any... Chuggy, because it's cold. Would you like me to operate your I can see how this you? is going to go. Um, oh, did you, did you, did you, you feel? Right? Did you feel it under the floor? Did you just stall it? Paul? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. 
dying, it's dying, it's dying. It's not dying. The choke is very peculiar, isn't it? It doesn't work like it does on a like on my towel. No, let me just try it. No, you see that kills it and then it Clockwise. That's him. Is it meant to run on? Uh, just the way it is. Yeah. I feel better about my climb oh, crusade exactly, now. Exactly. Yeah. That man runs on for like two minutes. Yeah. Like, cars make you feel like things. How did this car make you feel? Scared when you were driving it. I felt that was me, not the car. Though. I felt much more in control when I was driving it. Although. Typical woman. Um. Yeah. I just think back then, what were they thinking? Really. I felt regal. And I know this was Did an everyman you? type of car, it's not really a, a Daimler or something, but I just felt regal. Did you feel like a taxi driver of the 20s? No, it doesn't feel like a taxi, does it? No, it doesn't really. The, it feels like... The dog um, hairs around the roof hole. Um, it feels more like you're a, um, a lord or a lady. It's that kind of vehicle, like what you went... You know, when he was talking about Austin's big house in the country, that, this is the sort of car that you expect them to jump into. And ironically, it's not, is it? Because the Austin was... Yeah. An everyman car. Yeah. 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 So, like, today's today's equivalent of... Uh, Ford Focus. I was going to say Kia Sport. Because <laughs> everyone's got one. Yeah. That's my driveway right there. <laughs> <laughs> Have you? I've got a Ford Focus. My wife has a Kia Sportage. Yeah. Oh, well, there you are. That's, yeah, you are. thought I knew about cars. They are. <laughs> they are. Everyman cars, yeah. aren't they? they yeah. Are.